Now this is a system I've been waiting 10 years to get. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. This is the NES Control Deck, otherwise known as the Top Loader, and this is Day 5 of Nintendo Christmas 2019, where I'm talking about awesome Nintendo related gifts to give or receive this holiday season, like the remakes or the classic mini versions of the Super Nintendo and the NES Entertainment System, and also retro consoles as well. Before I get into it, I really want to just mention the giveaway for the Zelda Beanie Hat, for the Score Bunny plush, and for the Game Master t-shirt. Now these items, in order to win these, all you have to do is comment below what is your favorite game system of all time and why. It doesn't have to be from Nintendo, Sega Genesis is really high up there for me personally. So of course, as I said, the NES Classic Edition and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition have come out. These are still really good holiday gifts. They're harder to find in stores now. Some stores are still stocked with a few of them, but the prices I'm noticing are going up slowly over time. So definitely check out Retro Consoles for a friend if you want to give a good gift this holiday. If you're looking to receive a good gift, if you don't have these yet, these are absolutely fantastic. If you have a Switch, a lot of these games are on the Switch online. So something else that you can consider getting is a retro console or a variation throughout Nintendo's history. The control deck and this top loader is a system a lot of people don't know about. It is actually the exact same thing as the Nintendo Entertainment System, but with a different footprint. It doesn't have to have this clamshell opening where you put the game in and then click this down. And the controller is even different. So let's take a look at this system that I've never really unboxed before. As you can see, this is not a brand new system. It does have some use. It features this new design on here, and it says the world's most popular home video game system, the original 8-bit technology, choose games from a library of over 500 titles. It's way more than that now, actually. On the side, it has a cutting-edge controller design. It mentions the Advantage, the NES Advantage, and here are some different games on the system going as well. We have stickers all over here, which I do not like, but it's so hard to get a system like this in the box. We also have the cleaning kit and the maximum control with the NES Max. On the top of the box, it looks like that nice black outline with stars. On the bottom, it's blue with the same kind of look. And I think we've gone all the way around the world on that box now. So let's open up this NES top loader like I've never seen it before. This system, just the system alone, does have a lot of fakes out there. So be really careful when you're buying the system. And you, if you can find it with the box, the price pretty much triples. So usually this system's like $100, but if you can get it with the box, then you're looking at hundreds of dollars, probably 200 plus. It usually sells on eBay for over 300 US dollars. Now this is everything that my system came with. Of course, the console, the controller, the AC adapter, and the instruction manual. But first, let's just take a look at the footprint of this system. This one's a little bit dirty, as you can see, but we have a red power switch right here, a gray reset button that you press down, the power switch you press up and down, two controller ports. On one side, there's nothing. On the other side, there's also nothing. And really interestingly, on the back, you have your channel select, channel three or channel four, your AF out, and your AC adapter for power. This is the main problem with this system. This system is really appealing because it is a top loader. Like I said, it works way more often than my old school NES does with the games because a lot of the times you have to blow on the game and try again with the cartridge. However, this being the only thing, the AF out means basically that coaxial cable that you twist in the back of your TV and that's the only way you get signal out of this system, meaning there's no AV cables that'll work for this system. On the back of the original Nintendo Entertainment System, on the side, I should say, we had audio video for these two cables, and we don't have that with the new model of the NES. It just has the AF switch in and out, basically. So just be aware of that if you're getting this. You need a really old school TV that you can connect that kind of port to, However, the positives of this system are it does work way more often than the original NES. 
it does have a much smaller footprint. They cram that entire big console just into here. And also, it's really cool and nostalgic and retro looking. It's a really cool item. This system works way more often, but you're going to get the scan lines on the TV because it is hooking up through that AF, as I said. Taking a look at the instruction manual you have here, everything that this comes with, a really nice instruction manual. It has some other inserts with really cool old school Mario art on this. This says, now that you have your new system, we'd like to deliver even more power for free. And it goes through basically getting Nintendo Power Magazine, I would assume, let's just see. Super Power Club, I should say. Let's open this up even more. This is huge. So there we have it. We have a, now you can have it all, Nintendo Power Super Power Club. So it is for Nintendo Power Magazine, essentially. Beyond this insert, we do have some other inserts here. We have a Nintendo Entertainment System precautions booklet, and we have a poster. This one, it says, how to hook up your new Nintendo Entertainment System. This is great to get with the system itself if you are looking at getting one of these retro systems. So it says the cable systems, it goes through how to actually hook this up with the cables, and it talks about if you can call here. I wonder if this still works if we call this. Someone should try calling this and see if you can get Nintendo World Class Service Center Hotline. Right there is the number in case you are interested in calling. That's amazing. So beyond all those wonderful inserts, I even got the baggie with it. A lot of collectors love getting the baggie. We also have the AC adapter. It did not come with the cord to hook it up for the TV. So that is the one setback. But this controller has a much, much longer cord than the original NES controller cord. So this is nice because you can sit farther back from the system. This controller also is a completely new design compared to the original NES controller. And some speedrunners swear by using this if you want to play on an actual Nintendo system. Of course, the form of the original controller was kind of ugly. It looks beautiful in its own retro way, but I meant the corners aren't that comfortable to hold on to. But I do like the distance between the A and the B buttons here, and the D-pad is just wonderfully perfect. This time around, you can see the buttons are on a slant. They're a little bit farther apart, which takes a while to get used to. The D-pad is not gloss, it's more matte, and it works just as well, but the form of this controller through long play sessions is much more like the Super Nintendo controller. It's very comfortable to hold, and I really do like gaming on this a lot more than gaming with the original controller. So that's a really good look at the NES control deck, otherwise known as the top loader, that I've been waiting to get my hands on, like I said, for almost half a decade. Now, other systems, of course, are really good to include as well. My personal favorite gift is the N64, especially one of the different color variations that's out there. There's 16 plus color variations for the N64. There's like 14 or 15 different GameCube variations. There's five Wiis, there's three Wii U's, there's a whole bunch of Switches, and there's a few, just one or two, Super Nintendos and Nintendo Entertainment Systems. This makes a really cool Christmas gift, especially something like Jungle Green for the N64. Just a reminder again, be sure to enter the giveaway for the hat, the plush, and that wicked t-shirt that says Game Master that I picked up myself by commenting below, what is your favorite game system of all time? Thanks so much for watching day five of my Nintendo Christmas series 2019 and my quick look at the control deck Nintendo Entertainment System. Feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming. Thanks for watching everyone.